YouTubes. Welcome to Casa de Cowbubs here. We're in uh, Indiana on this beautiful 30 degree day working on Damien. i am uh, got a skirt kind of made up for him. I got some uh, dollar store belts from the uh, thrift store. I usually get mine from, uh, oh, uh, the Goodwill. They're only a dollar there. So I found this big, big study guy. I thought that looked pretty cool. I got a $5 piece of uh, duck cloth from Joann's, which I just ran a soldering iron through and destroyed and razor bladed in distress. And then I went and sprayed it down with some Rit dye and some of the holes to darken it. I put a couple of D-rings on these old uh, thrift store belts, but they came with this belt buckle, which is kind of plain. I mean, it would work, it's kind of cool, but uh, I'm gonna try and put some uh, DIY polymer cloth, uh, clay on top of this and see if you can't make a better design out of it. So let's go inside and get some clay on this thing. All right, we're back in the house. I got the belt buckle. I already cut the two little studs off the back and I put two new ones in so I can put some new rivet screws on there for the back side of the belt to reattach it to the belt. I got some uh, Primo Sculpey. Went ahead and went with gold because it sort of matches the belt buckle a little bit. And I think I'm going to do maybe the back of the mouth and uh, maybe the eyes out of this red here. So got these two colors at Hobby Lobby for, I think they were $2.69 a piece. Pretty cheap, cheaper than on Amazon this time. So uh, let's go ahead and condition some clay. And then let's make a demon face for this belt buckle. So Damien's got a cool belt buckle to wear. Okay, we're back with the belt buckle. Now I gotta keep in mind which way this thing goes on the belt so I don't make the face upside down or backwards. Okay, I went ahead and got our gold kind of rolled out, made a little pancake. I'm just gonna mold it right here on top of the belt buckle. It's not gonna stick, but I'm gonna bake it in the oven like this and then uh, I'll trim off the excess and then I will E6000 glue this right back on the belt. There's my little studs. Stick it on there like that, like a little overhang. Wrap around like that. All right. That's something to start with at least. All right, there's our belt buckle. All right, let's make a crude little demon face. All right, got a little bit of the red clay rolled out. I'm gonna make this the background for the eyes and the mouth. So I want some cool demon eyes and a cool demon face. So it's nice and thin. I'm just going to take the scissors and cut me out some eyes. That's kind of cool. Something like that. I can cut out bigger than I need. Won't hurt anything. Maybe something like that. Yeah, maybe a little smaller. That might be too much. All right, let's turn that back some. I'm going to make another eye anyways. So we'll do this. that there and we'll just make them both on top of each other all right that stuff works pretty good with scissors never tried that one yet so we got two eyes probably still a little bit big but that's okay like that we'll stick them on here and I want a big mouth and I want lots of fangs and teeth on this guy I want it to be extra crude too, so Damien looks cool sitting out in the yard. So let's cut him out of mouth. Yeah. Let's see, maybe something like that. Okay. All right. Let's stretch it how I want it. And just kind of plaster it in there like that. Kind of looks like crap right now, but it'll get better. We don't want no happy demons for Halloween. All right, let's put some eyebrows on this guy. And there, I got the rest of the gold. Got it all kind of softened up, conditioned. Stuff's always a pain in the ass to condition. Let's see. A couple of snakes. I think I'll do something like that. Something like that, maybe. 
All right, I'm gonna mess around with these eyes. I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna tweak them. And then I'll come back and we'll take a look what the eyes look like. All right, got a little bit of this clay built up around the eyes. I'm using this little condiment spoon for, uh, I don't know, I guess it's sugar and stuff like that for coffee. I don't drink coffee, so for me, I'm just gonna use it as a tool. And hope I don't get in trouble. I'm just gonna smash this down, bring these little eyelids down. Puffy and demonic. There you go. And you could use anything to sculpt clay. You can, I mean, or you can find your kitchen drawers, your utility drawer. Let's, let's make the lids a little higher. Stab those up. I want it to be kind of crude. I don't want it being very pretty. This eye's a different shape. It's okay. You can always push the clay up. Straighten that out some, just like that. And we should put some kind of nose on him too. Some extra clay. Some kind of wide demonic nose. Might be too much. Maybe come to a point, maybe. Something like that. Stick that on his face. Run that nose up. That looks a whole lot better. Want that kind of, kind of almost bat-shaped nose, but with a hook in it. Take this little condiment spoon, roll some nostrils in there. He's looking crude, but I like it. It's gonna look a whole lot cooler than a plain brass belt buckle. All right, I'm gonna mess with this a little bit more. I'm gonna come back. We'll start throwing some teeth on this guy. All right. So I kind of plate his eyes a little bit. I got his nose in place. Just taking my little condiment spoon and rolling some wrinkles in his eyes to make him look all pissed off and evil. And bring his nostrils down a little bit. Like that. And I've just been using this little condiment spoon. Kind of smash things in, move things around. Use the back of a paintbrush to push some nostrils up and kind of flare them out a little bit. But uh, I'm liking that. So far, so good. A little more wrinkles on this side. Never have too many wrinkles on a demon. Uh, Pull his eyelids down a little bit. All right. I have to put some horns on this guy, too. I got some teeth kind of made up. I want some definitely some big, spiky, underbite teeth. I want a big underbite. Might be too much, but oh well. You really ever have enough teeth on a demon? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Let's mash those in. Do some upper teeth. Maybe like that. Should go to the inside. Now go to the outside. Okay, like that. We curl those around. Over there. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. The more teeth, the better. I'm gonna do some big bottom teeth too. I really want to have this guy have a monstrous face. I'm kind of digging that. Stretch this out. We've got to put a couple of top teeth in. Give them a lip. Let's see. I need some smaller teeth, don't we? Get all these guys out. Stretch these out. Again, I'm going to do most of the stuff by hand so it looks crude. looks more evil that way. They don't all have to be the same size. It looks better when they're different sizes, too. Stab that guy in there. guy in there. Lift it up a little bit. We'll punch him into them gums. Put some lips on there in a minute. We're going to do one more on the top. All right. Something like that. I 
something and that's pretty cool. I love the bottom tusks, how they stick out. That's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and detail these in. I'm gonna go ahead and put some lines in, stretch them out a little bit so they look like a real teeth. Then, uh, then we're gonna put some horns on this guy. But so far I'm liking him. He's gonna give a nice profile when he's uh, on that belt. So let me finish up these teeth. We'll come back and put some horns on them and do some final details. Alrighty, we got some teeth on this guy. Now we gotta roll some lips in there. Cover all that stuff up. Close off his mouth. One's in there. Start working that guy in. Yeah, I'll turn the corner of his mouth down, maybe. Not too much. Turn that off. And I'll start rubbing those into his face. Kind of blend that in a little bit. All right. Same on this side. Blend that in. I'm liking that. It's going to look nice and uh, nice and evil out in the yard. And just kind of roll that in. Tuck it under his lip. Bring it down on top of the teeth. Close off the corner of that mouth. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do his bottom lip the same way. I'll stretch that out. And I'll finish off his mouth and come back, and I'll show you what he looks like. Once you get that bottom lip blended in. All righty, that's what I got so far. So kind of blending the lips in, making the little wrinkles and deep lines in his face, make him look more mean and evil and decrepit. Went ahead and added a little chin to the guy. I think that looks kind of cool. Some more wrinkles, just cut right in here with the spoon. This thing works better for making demons than it does for pouring uh, sugar in the damn coffee. All right. He looks pretty cool. I think we should definitely put some horns on him. He's going to need some horns. Something like that. Maybe twist forward a little bit. I think that'll definitely work. Maybe even kicked out like that to the side. Make him a little wider. I'm going to play with these horns. We'll come back and we'll see what we got. Maybe he'll be close enough to baking. All right, I think he's about done. I'm just kind of going in and putting the last little wrinkles in. A little bit of nips and tucks. Some lines in that nose. Want that nose looking pretty beat up. Want that brow pretty furrowed. Right. Some random pits in his face. So far, I think he's pretty evil. The side profile, his horns stick out a little bit. It's pretty cool. I'm happy with those. Let me tuck him in there. All right. I'm go over his skin with this little wire brush. Put some pits in it. Because I am going to put a wash on this. So I want some uh, black to fill out in those little holes down there. Roughing up his skin a little bit. With bad texture. Can I brush and texture? Well, I think I can brush and texture on the horns. And leave his teeth the way they are. This guy a little bit curled ahead. All right, I kind of like that. All right, I think he's ready to bake. Then we'll have us a belt buckle for Damien. Straighten out that tooth a little bit. I don't want him too pretty. All right, let's bake him. Throw in the oven. I'll come back in half an hour. All right, we're back. Got Damien out of the oven. His belt buckle turned out pretty good. Got a really nice side profile. Baked him for a little less than an hour because I hate waiting. And we're going to do a real quick speed paint on him. And we'll put him on the belt buckle and he'll be done. Um, with a little leftover clay, molded this little bitty guy. Maybe I'll mold him later and 
do something with him for uh, down the road somewhere. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, first and foremost, I'm going to touch his eyes with the Midnight Glow paint. If you guys have seen this or not, it's black light. I use it on Damien. I'm going to try this on his, uh, on his eyeballs. Again, you're going to use the same paintbrush. And there's a bunch of different colors you get in the little kit. And these are all black light. So maybe I'll do some yellow highlights on his cheeks and stuff just to see what it picks up in the around Halloween time when I put the black light on him. So take a little bit of this. A little tear right there. I'll grab just a little bit of this and hit his eyes. And even this little bit will show up under the black light. I'm just going to shove it in them corners so we ain't even brushing it. All right, that's one. Put it heavy in the middle, and then we'll just shove it into the creases. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I want it to be crude. And just this little bit of black light paint should be more than enough to react under lights when he's out in the yard. All right, that's that. Let that dry. I'm going to come back. We're going to black wash it. We're going to call this thing done. All right, so I'm feeling a little bit froggy. I'm going to take some of this uh, yellow black light paint. I'm going to brush and highlight his cheeks just for the hell of it. We're going to put a black wash over everything, so just that little tiny bit. Some high spots. Maybe it'll glow in the dark out in the yard when the black light's on. Okay, put that on. A little more. Okay, can't see it here, but it'll most definitely show up in the yard. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way but I want to keep that gold texture so it looks like an actual belt buckle. A little bit too much. Brush his teeth too. And then it should stand up through the black wash. Dust over it. Okay, the tips of his horns. His nose. Get his teeth real good. Okay. All right. A little bit of black light yellow on them. Not even gonna clean my brush. I'm just gonna dip right into my black wash. Um, everybody has their own recipes for black wash. I use just acrylic paint. This is the cheapy stuff from Walmart. I like to use a little clear Dixie cup to put it in. I use hot water, one little couple of drops or two of dish soap, and then the black. And I don't have any specific method. I just mix it where you can see it in a little clear cup. And you can tell if that's dark enough you want to be by looking through the transparency or the opaqueness of the cup. That's how I kind of gauge my black wash. So that's what we're going to hit him with. All right. Put the little guy there. All right. Eyes, everything. I love the way that gold still shows up, the metallic that the clay is, that gold metallic color. Boom, that's it. That's how fast it is. You can do a second coat if you want. 
I'm going to end up hitting this with some uh, polyurethane or some satin clear. But I want that black down in there to show all the little grooves and pits and stuff that I brush to show the texture and the make the skull look more ugly and decrepit than it is. That's him. That's going to be the belt buckle. Get a nice little profile on it. The teeth jut out. If they crack, it'll look cool. I kind of hope this thing cracked in the oven, but it didn't. So I'm going to go put this on the belt. And uh, let's throw it on Damien. And we'll go out in the yard and take a look at him. All right, we're outside with Damien. He's got his new belt on. And that's how the buckle turned out. And again, you guys see me make that. What did I use? A pair of scissors, a condiment spoon, some clay, an hour's worth of baking, a little bit of cheap quick paint. I think he turned out pretty cool. I did put some uh, little wraps around his feet. I gave him a little uh, wristband. So I think that's going to work good for Halloween to cover up his junk. And I'll probably add some more accessories to him later. Well, that's how he turned out. He free stands. I got his tongue in place now. He's all painted black lights, so he'll glow in the yard. So what do you guys think? Is Damien looking fly or what? How many demons can rock a belt buckle like that? Man, that's super cool. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to do this again soon. Get an upshot. There we go. I'm real happy with it. I can't wait to see what it looks like in the black light. So I hope you guys dig it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again.